Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video on this, but I thought, you know, they might want it a little bit different. And I've already made a copy, and I put it up top. But what you want to do when you want to do this particular one is Control D and make a duplicate and nudge it out of the way. Now we're going to take this copy, and on the text, we're going to left click, right click, and we're going to take our text, and we're going to turn it to black. So I'm going to right click, go down here and double click. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker than I would probably normally make it just so you can see in the video. And I'm also going to scale it with object in case you make it smaller. And so you've got a, now you've got a, uh, something that's going to engrave. We'll just take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Then you can actually delete this box. So now you have an engraved line, and then we're going to do the same thing we did in the previous video. We're going to left click our font, right click a hairline, but this time we're going to take, well, we're going to do it again. We're going to take out the inside, and I had already converted it to a curve. So we're going to take our virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. And in the first video, I used the Smart Fill tool, and I didn't really maybe under explain why I did. It's because these are in two different parts. You know, this box is no longer, is not part of that font. So if you use the virtual sync or if you use the smart fill tool and nudge it out of the way and get rid of this box, your new smart fill, if you nudge it up and you left click, right click, now this is all one piece. Now you can nudge your font right back over and that's a pretty cool effect because this would be cut out and this would continue the letter. It's really probably better than the one we did earlier in the video of cutting it out and having the font show. Uh, this is going to take equally as long to run uh, because it's going to have to engrave all this. So you're not really saving any time because it's, it's going to cover all the spots. Now you could in vector engrave this out of focus, but that's another can of worms. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.